Welcome sa last video ng series na to. So maraming salamat sa mga sumuway-bye and patuloy na sumusuporta sa atin. So I will discuss JavaScript modules. Ano nga ba yung JavaScript modules? So yung modules is a function or a name that can be used or um, imported from an external file. So pwede kang gumamit ng mga variables and functions na nasa other files. So that is how uh, modules work in JavaScript. Okay, so let's say you have a person.js file dito. So create mo na lang siya. And you will have a name and an age variable. So, paano natin gagamitin to sa index.js file natin? So, madali lamang siya. But first, you have to take note no, na mayroong dalawang kind or types of export dito sa JavaScript. We have named export and then we have a default export. So, malalaman yung difference nila in a bit. So, for example, you will do this in a named export. You can do export na keyword and then curly braces, and then yung name and age. So, in-export mo sila by uh, name. So, name and age. You can also do, instead of this, export directly. And export. Ayan. So, gagana to in a named export. So, paano natin sila gagamitin in index? So, sa index.js, gagamitin mo naman yung keyword na import. Import. Tapos, curly braces name, age from kung saan file makikita yon dot slash person dot js. Kasi nasa same directory, so isang dot lang yung kinuha natin or nilagay natin. And then, pwede mo nang ilag dito. Kung sa dot log, name, tsaka yung age. So, run natin node index na js and makita mo, meron naman tayong um, error na not found. So, kasi person lang, dapat person dot js. Okay, save, clear natin yung console, run, and bam, we have Jesse and 40 na age. So that is how you do named exports. So what if you will have a default export? So let's say it's a person.js, delete natin sa export. You will have here a function, no? function message. Okay, and then magre-return ka, um, return. Okay, name plus, lagyan natin ng space, plus h. So, what if ito lang yung default export natin, which is yung uh, message. So, lagyan na rin natin ito sa loob para gumana. Okay, ayan. Ang gagawin mo lang for exporting uh, or using a default um, na export is to export default message. Okay, so kahit ano pang variable yung ilalagay mo dito, const, for example, weight uh, equals 100, hindi to madadala sa ating export kasi message lang yung ida default export niya. So, paano mo naman i-import yung default na export? Okay, so before, ginawa natin to. We have curly braces, in-access natin siya by name. But for default, you will have just for example, message or anything that you want kasi naka-default na siya. So, pag tinlight mo yung message dito, ayan, and then, iraran mo yung node index.js, makita mo, you will have a function message. Kasi function yung nilagay natin. So, we'll call a function. Okay. And then, makita mo na, jesse40. So, this is how you do a um, default export in JavaScript. So, we discussed named export and default export. So, gamit na gamit to in React. So, maraming salamat and I hope na subaybayan nyo na yung React series natin kasi magpa-proceed na ako dun. So, maraming salamat guys and I hope you share this with your friends and all. So, yun lang. So, thank you again for watching and I hope to see you on the next video sa ating YouTube channel.